Wait till he sees it turn the chips and egg for his tea. Well, it's Thursday, isn't it? And on Thursday, it has to be mince. It's the 11th commandment. Moses declared it. Thou shalt give thy fellow mince every Thursday. And if thou doesn't, thy fellow will have one big gob on him all night long. What'll he be like, Wall? What'll he be like when he sees it's only chips and egg? And I wouldn't mind. It's not even my fault about the mince. Well, I... I gave it the dog, you see. This dog at the place I work. Well, it's a bloodhound and... This couple I work for, the... The vegans. You know, the vegetarian, lunatic fringe. The Marmite tendency, I call them. Anyway, they've brought up this bloodhound as vegetarian. It's not natural, is it? If God had wanted to create a vegetarian dog, he wouldn't have created a bloodhound, would he? He'd have created a... a, a grape juice hound. Well, this dog's a bloodhound. needs meat. Well, it was just on impulse, really. From there today, and, and looked at this dog. And all I could think about is the pound and a half of mince that's in my bag. You know, I think it's worth what I'll have to put up with from him tonight. Just to see the look on that dog's face as he tasted meat for the first time. <laughs> of course, I don't think Joel will see it that way. What'll he be like? What'll he be like? You did what? What'd you do? You gave it to the dog. You've gone bloody mental, woman. Is this it? Have you finally gone round the pipe? Oh, why yes, Joseph, I rather think I have. I've finally gone loop the fucking loop. I've become crazy with joy. Because today, Jane gave me the opportunity of getting away for a fortnight, Joe. And to travel to Greece with my companion. I departed less than three weeks since. And we shall be vacationing for some 14 days. And now, I must away, leaving you to save your chips and your chucky egg. While I supervise the packing of my trunk.